It is uh, seven. It's about seven twenty in the morning on Wednesday, August twelfth. So that's the beginning. This is the beginning of the next vlog. I guess the the, the uh, looking at the brightness of, of the video, and a lot. Of, I guess a lot of it has to do whether it's being shot at night or shot during the day, in terms of the lighting. Even though the primary lighting is a monitor, an LED monitor right behind the camera. So the the one the primary light that I'm using here is an LED monitor that it's on all the time. So. Uh, I just finished up the Leroy's. I decided that uh, I'm going to end it here so I can take a bit of a sleep break. Uh, so that I, in four hours, which is around 11 o'clock, I can be up again to uh, check the satellite. I have to bring some data down from a solar observation satellite. And the bizarre thing is is that uh, uh, what I see is every... Uh, this I've seen this for a year. Every time it's very hot out... Uh, there is an increase in, in solar activity. Uh, but the thing is, watching the Leroy, wa watching the Leroy's, watching as I was watching the vlog and watching how they interact with ver various different situations, this is this is part of my homework, if you will. Because CyberNex is about understanding how people behave, how they react in different situations. And watching vlogs does that. Uh, I find it entertaining, but at the same time, I, I find it interesting as well. So it becomes part of uh, of the studies into uh, cybernetics, even though the, the cybernetics also includes the medical aspect. There's also the psychological and behavioral aspect to consider as well. And there I go again, uh, uh, cleaning my eyes out. It's an issue that at this point in time, this is how why I made the decision to stop uh, for the day, even though this is the opening video for the day, is that uh, I'm starting to get tired. It's cool enough. I can sleep. And I'll get about four hours in before I have to do the next segment of work. Uh, I'll be up for about an hour, around 11 o'clock. I'll probably vlog at that time. Now that I'm setting up the setting up the, the vlog on a better basis and um, let you know what's happening in terms of the gaming in terms of uh, 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 the satellite work that I have to do and then there's also work that I have to sort of do in terms of working on the scooter uh, doing the final assembly for the scooter I got a message back from the retailer there's also, there's also the manufacturer. I've got all the wiring cor correct. I just have to do some electrical work in terms of uh, taping some of the electrical wires uh, to make sure it's, it's more secure. Uh, and then uh, that's it for that. It just, you know, everything seems to be uh, honky dory. Everything is moving along at a good pace. Well, we'll wait for this to calm down. <laughs> Looks like it has already. And there's just... The, the, in the top corner here, that's another phone for uh, live broadcasts. Uh, the phones and devices uh, seem to do a very good job. So, uh, And I only got them for $200, so there's no uh, issue. Uh, I'm not spending a large chunk of money to, uh, to do my work. Anyways, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I, as I said, I uh, got up from my sleep break uh, around uh, 11.30, uh, did some gaming, did some picking up, and I, I uh, fixed another batch of tea, there's another, another batch of cold brew tea uh, uh, developing, because I'm almost done the, uh, uh, the tea that I currently have. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a different type of tea, I don't really know how to pronounce it, it's... Uh, it's a, a Chinese and Indian tea. And what it does is... This is more important for people who are... Who have uh, uh, gastrointestinal issues. 
what happens with a lot of people who seem to be of weight, uh, let's use that term, is that there is a backup within the within the system, within the intestinal system, the, the called the GI, the gastrointestinal system, uh, because the waste that is supposed to be uh, released doesn't always get out, and as a matter of fact, what happens is starts, and this is true with almost any pipe or anything like that. Over a period of time, depending on what you don't you you put into the thing, there's a coating that develops on the inside. And so you take a pipe, let's say around that that big, and you start adding you start adding uh, uh, layers. So you start adding layers to it, so it eventually becomes smaller and smaller and smaller the diameter, because now instead of having the cell wall there, there's now a coating on the cell wall, and that so coating gets uh, uh, gets uh, to be thicker. And this is where you have these things called these colon cleanses. And what it does is it clears out all the gunk that backs up out on there, uh, but it's it, it's rather uncomfortable because the ins there is a tube that has to be inserted, and it's not it's not coming in orally; it's going in anally. <laughs> not talking about being anal retentive. Well, this is what this is. It, it's often known as the high colonic, and it's because there's a tube stuck up there, and you're flushing out all the material that hasn't come out on its own stuck to the walls sounds kind of gross but <laughs> this is this is medicine this this is this is medical research this is how the body functions this is physiology and what this tea does is it cleans the system out but you don't have to do it you don't have to do it anyway this is an oral while you're drinking your tea and you know, having your regular food um, you can clean out your system and so I do this on, I have, this is the tea I now make, uh, and have with my meals, because, you know, being a geek and nerd, a kawaii geek and nerd, uh, there's often that Jan Japanese uh, sort of otaku type of uh, thing. And one of the things is, uh, is milk tea. Well, it depends on the type of tea you're talking about, because tea is not, tea is not all the same. And if you get good tea, they all have different effects on the, in terms of the body's physiology. Uh, it turned out that this one helps clear out the colon. It helps clear out the the, the intestinal system. It, it, it remove it actually removes and, and promotes the removal of uh, stuff uh, of stuff that builds up on the walls of the uh, of the intestinal lining. So it, it actually thins it out. It gets gets you to have uh, a better uh, throughput of materials from. Uh, raw material intake, your food is your raw material intake, to the breakdown into the essential components that the body needs, your nutrients, your, 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 your organic, organic chemicals, and then promotes a healthy output of materials that are either left over or, or what we'll call waste materials. The waste materials can be a, a number of things. They could be excess supply, that is just being dumped. It could be things that have broken down, things that need to be repaired. Anytime you go and do a renovation, right? When you see someone doing a renovating a house, there's a tearing down of the old, putting up of the new. When you tear down the old, you remove all the old wall, uh, some of the old walls, some of the the, the, the the old paper, whatever it is there, and that goes out in the garbage. It goes out in the bin. That's your waste. And then the new stuff comes in and sort of. But even when you have the new stuff coming in, you still have waste. You still have things that need to be cleaned up afterwards and this is sort of how this is how this sort of tea act it helps smooth out the process of uh, proper waste management in terms of your gastrointestinal system your GI system so this is some of the stuff I do this is this is how I live my life and or our life I should say because the I do exist online as uh, Cyborg Golf, the games I play. I'm online as, uh, when I do it as a gamer, I'm online as Cyborg Alpha. And you'll be seeing a lot more of how Cyborg Alpha lives on the internet. And I mean lives on the internet because it's 24-7. Anyways, I got the, the, first, uh, the, the first installment of the editing desk cleared away. I got the first process through. I'm now getting through the 
so-called uh, work process of editing and I'm on my second round now and then it helps clear out the phone and it makes more room for videos well it's hot in here uh, it's cooler at night uh, it's well, well <laughs> It's somewhat night. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. And it has to be the 13th today. Uh, I, when I remember, yesterday was the 12th. Yeah, August 13th. It's Thursday. This is not the end of the vlog, ironically enough. Uh, but it's sort of midway through. Uh, that's because uh, the day has shifted again. There's been another shift in the day. And so, this is the way it is. But as I said before, it was, it's usually hot during the day. And, uh, supposedly, it is cooler at night. The cooling system's off and working right now. But I did some baking, and that put a lot of heat into the place. So, this is how comfortable I feel. I'm wearing shorts, <laughs> just uh, no shirt. Uh, and it's, 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 it, gets, it, gets, it gets rather hot. And the projector, uh, the LED projector that I have that for my media room and research desk, uh, it throws off an enormous amount of heat. So it adds to the environment. In other words, you have to be in, in the situation where you're doing something known as a balanced uh, environmental system where you balance your hot and your cold. You have to be aware if you're trying to cool the place how much heat you're putting into the environment. And so I do that, and uh, I keep my body at a, at a very comfortable temperature. And the this is what I have this all the time. My tum my middle tumbler. It keeps things colder than than t than typically if you put it in a glass or something like that. Uh, and that's where I have my, my milk tea. And so the short the milk tea, and the, I got the short order. Uh, menu working it's now working i'm producing uh, a, a good short order menu that takes me five ten minutes to fix uh is often typically cold because during hot weather you don't want to have hot food you want to have cold food so it's like sausages uh, well basically uh, cold cuts are sausages just to let you know that so you make a sausage you do that at night i just made some bacon tonight uh, it's cooling down now. I'll t t change out the paper because it's soaking up all the grease. And then I'll put it in the fridge and I'll have bacon for a couple of days. Uh, tomorrow night I'll probably bake some, cookie, some cookies. Uh, I'm going to finish off, uh, probably later on today, I'll finish off making uh, the rest of the pancakes that I make. Uh... And I'll have a good short order menu. I'll have the, the menu that's, that, that's uh, you know, that quick and easy to produce. That's why it's, it's called short order. You can, do it, you can do it quickly, and you can do it easily. Anyways, uh, uh, I was at, uh, got to the YouTube stroll just around uh, 4.35 in that time frame. Uh, watch the Yowie vlogs, then I watch... It's our life. Uh, none of the side stuff had anything there yet on either Yowie Vlogs or uh, It's Our Life. So I'm now at the Leroy's and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, there, goes the, there goes the sound. But I have to get up anyways and rinse that cup out. There, there's some dishes that I have to get done from all the baking I did left, uh, tonight. And this is, as long as you bake and you cook, uh, you, it, things end up being inexpensive you don't have a lot of uh, uh your expenses go down and so things you, you you can you could you can afford to do other things and uh my e-scooter is here i'm gonna be finishing up the assembly uh hopefully i should have the assembly completed by saturday uh we'll see what happens there are still some certain things i have to do in terms of uh, rearranging things but not too bad so Anyways, I'll uh, see you probably in about an hour or so. T to end the vlog for, for uh, Wednesday and Thursday, this is the end of the August the 12th vlog. 
and start the uh, new vlog for the um, 13th. Well, I dropped the temperature enough in my place so the shirt's back on again. Uh, fortunately for you. <laughs> um, I finished off at the Leroy's. The Leroy's uh, was back to school clothes shopping for the younger girls up uh, Reese and Perry. And so they did their uh, uh, shopping and then haul afterwards and they tried on the clothes and showed us the outfits. That's the haul. Uh, but they're not too sure what's going to happen with school. Uh, a large chunk of the school districts in Utah are already canceling going online. And here's the thing is that with this great fart panic here because uh, I, I know a couple channels because they said the wrong word uh, have been demonetized. <laughs> it means they're not making any money because they said the wrong words. There is a lot of punishment going on for not following government guidelines, whether or not they make sense or not. And, it, it, and the thing is, is there's no... They say they make sense. They say that there's a reality. Uh, and you have a doctor's, uh, 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 doctor's uh, uh, so-called approval behind it. But the thing is, you sit down, you do the research. And I'm, I'm a researcher. I, I, I understand what's going on. And most of the stuff is is that the the, the the one the the people who certify that this is true and real are being paid by the people they're supposed to be certifying. How is this independent? You know, you're supposed to have someone who's independent, who's who's who has no conflict of interest. Of course, they have a conflict of interest. Who do you think's paying their money? Who, who do you think's paying them for the certification? And this is this this is the whole thing is people don't and they don't fight back. Why in certain areas do do we accept the government coming in and say, "Oh, you have to be certified"? Why? Why do we need a government approval to come and do something that we could do ourselves? Or, or, or you know, why does the government have to come and do the certification? And it's not questioned. And so this is what's happening is there's a lot of confusion going back to school now because of this whole because of the whole uh, uh, great fart panic. I mean, you can't say the words, so let's give it called the great fart panic. It's a great joke. Yeah, remember the great fart panic of 1812? Oh, <laughs> that was way back when. And now we can do the same thing because we're, now we have, we're in a panic. It's not, it has nothing to do with any medical reality. It's a panic. So from there I went to uh, Kesley Jade. That's uh, one of the Leroy's, the oldest daughter of, uh, of Leroy's. So I went to uh, Kesley Leroy's channel. They went to a cave, to, they went to, uh, to uh, Ted Bundy's cave, apparently it was in Utah, where he hid uh, people or bodies or whatever. And so it's become sort of like a, uh, like a hard spot that people go to to sort of, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> they have their time there, whatever. I, I, I don't know why it, become, it can becomes a tourist attraction, but it did. And, of course, it's mostly kids who go there. I don't think really adults go there at all. And then from there, I went to uh, our family nest, and uh, was it, uh, Carly uh, is had her sixteenth birthday, and she got her driver's license, and so she was happy for that because she was she was able to get her license on her birthday, and so she's been out now driving around. So that's what that was about. I'm a little bit behind on on our family nest, so I'm doing the binge watching now, and so this is the. Uh, end of the vlog for the 12th we're ending it at seven o'clock in the morning uh on august 13th and as always whether you're worth it or not no refunds <laughs>